Hi, I'm Kei from Tokyo. I have been a software engineer for nine years and I started my own company four years ago. My company running a platform called Flutter Daigaku. Flutter Daigaku is a membership community for Flutter engineers. Today I'm gonna talk about Flutter. I found an article. The title is Why Am I Continue to Bet on Flutter? So this article was very nice. It's easy to understand why he is continuing to bet on Flutter. And I just agree with his opinion. So I'm gonna share with you this article and my opinion. So yeah, recently Google lay off some Flutter team members. Many people worry about Google might suddenly abandon Flutter someday. On the other hand, in the Google I.O., Google announced Flutter's new features, such as start macros, WebAssembly, Gemini integration, and a new Firebase. So we are not sure what's the future of Flutter. So, but in this article, it was very clear that's why he is betting on Flutter. According to this article, there are three reasons why he is betting on Flutter. First is large apps inside and outside of Google. There are already many big apps made by Flutter. So for example, Grab. Grab is a famous delivery and taxi app. And Shein. Shein is one of the famous shopping apps recently very popular even in Japan and New York Times and uh, some airlines apps and recently Universal Studios app is also using and Toyota is using Flutter so many big companies are using Flutter and they are making money and also he mentioned that Google is just Google is also using uh, Flutter for their own apps like uh, Google Ads, Google Analytics, Google Cloud, Google One, Google Pay, and the others. Google itself using Flutter for their own apps. So if Google abandon Flutter suddenly, that means they abandon their own apps. I cannot imagine that's happened. So at least they will not abandon Flutter suddenly. So that is the first reason. Many apps are already using Flutter so that Google cannot abandon Flutter so easily. And second, second is Flutter is a gateway to Google Cloud. You know, Firebase is a very easy mobile backend service. So if you use Flutter, their integration system is very easy. Flutter and Firebase is very good combination. It's very easy. So, and Firebase is stands on GCP. Firebase is stand on Google Cloud. So Google's business model is mainly advertise Google Ads. That's GCP, Google Cloud. Google Cloud is also, the, also their business model. So yeah, Firebase is a gateway to GCP because if you do something complicated in Firebase, um, you should use GCP as well. Yeah, in that case, yeah, they would pay more money to Google, Google Cloud. So, so Google will be happy. And as I said, Firebase and Flutter is very good combination. So Flutter is a gateway to Firebase and Firebase is a gateway to Google Cloud. So that means Flutter is a, one of the important their marketing tools for GCP. That is one of the reasons they cannot abandon Flutter suddenly because Flutter is a very good gateway to GCP. That is a, one of the main business for them. And last reason is vibrant community. So in this article, he mentioned about in Google I.O., there are a lot of Flutter developers are coming to Google, Google I.O. and they gathered and many people out there, not only Google I.O., there are a lot of Flutter events out there, contains Flutter Ninjas Tokyo, I will hold. And uh, I have a community called Flutter Daigaku. So many people involved with Flutter now. I think Flutter has a big fan compared with another framework and uh, programming languages. Yeah, Flutter is relatively very popular for developers. I guess 
That's because、uh, Flutter provides very good、um, developer experience. Very easy to develop compared with other frameworks. Yeah, so yeah, there are a lot of Flutter communities and many people involved with Flutter. And they will come to Google I.O. every year and、uh, any other Google event and Flutter event. Yeah, these people are very important for Google. If there are Flutter c o m m u n i t y it's very easy to gather people to the event. It's one of the biggest. Yeah, biggest community for them. So that is the reason why they cannot release Flutter community. Yeah, these people are very important for their business as well. That's it. Yeah, these three is the reason why he is betting on Flutter. And I completely agree with them. So, what do you think? Do you think Flutter's future is bright or dark? That's it today. Thank you for watching. Please smash the like button and subscribe button. And we have Brata Ninjas Tokyo on June 13th and 14th at Odaiba Tokyo. So, if you are a big fan of Flutter, let's join Flutter Ninjas as well. Let's cheer up Flutter together. Please check Flutter Ninjas link below. Thank you. Bye. Don't miss out the Flutter Ninjas Tokyo 2024. Hi, I'm Kei, organizer of Flutter Ninjas. Flutter Ninjas is a brand new Flutter conference for English speakers in Tokyo, Japan. This is the first time Flutter event for English speakers in Japan ever. The date is June 13th, Thursday, and 14th, Friday. Flutter Ninjas have 18 speakers. First, Remy. He's a creator of Flutter packages, provider, Flutter hooks, Riverbot. And freeze. Liverpool is the most used package s for state management in Flutter. I think this is the first event for Remy to come to Japan as a speaker, so don't miss it out. And there are 17 speakers beside Remy. All of the speaks are very fascinating. s c h e d u l e was out already. From June 13th, from 10 30 a.m., Remy is gonna speak about Liverpool 3.0, the preview. So exciting. So, ticket is containing a lunch for two days and dinner for last day. You can ask a speaker. After sessions, you can join the pre party. Jun Phelps, Majid said he will give away this book. The detail is s t a t u n e d And some special gifts from sponsored companies and from us. Unfortunately, Alibaba ticket is sold out already. But as of May 20th today, regular ticket is still remaining. So don't miss out the regular ticket. If you miss the regular ticket, your choice will be only late bar ticket. Thank you.